Now yesterday YouTube decided to make some big changes in the partner program which will affect a lot of channels including including mine. So effective of the 20th of February 2018 I'll probably be losing my partnership with YouTube as well as a lot of other channels which also means that we will lose our monetization. Now there's a lot of information out there there's a lot of people talking about this uh, what I want to do in this video is I want to talk about um, what this means for me. I want to put things into perspective because there's a lot of numbers being thrown around. There's a lot of ideas being thrown around, but I just want to look out, see what things are. At the same time, I want to express my concern about what's going on with YouTube and its creators right now, which has created a situation which is not really ideal. <laughs> Now before we start this video I want to make it very clear that this is not a video of me bitching or complaining about losing YouTube partnership and monetization. Um, when YouTube says that these creators were not earning a lot I can assure you that I wasn't earning anything at all. So pretty much me losing partnership, me losing monetization is not something I'm necessarily complaining about. I think it's really annoying uh, but it's more annoying in the way it goes and it exposes a bigger problem on YouTube that I think we need to address. And it's also important that we look at what's currently going on and what these new requirements are. So this is the email. You may have seen it on Twitter. I've seen it a lot on Twitter, people posting it around. Uh, I do not want to put up a screenshot, but I will put it here on the screen because it's an email. But since you know what it says, uh, let's just go over it right now. Um, under the new requirements announced today, your YouTube channel is no longer eligible for monetization because it does not meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partner Program. Now, when it comes to these numbers, I think the 1,000 subscribers are pretty straightforward. Like, we all know what it means, we can all picture it. But especially 4,000 hours has gotten people confused, and there's a lot of speculation about these hours, so um, I want to go out and show you what they actually mean. Now to better understand the numbers, I think it's important that we draw them out, that we can picture them, that we can all see what it means. Uh, as I said, the subscribers are pretty simple. Um, I have 574 subscribers out of a thousand. If I double that, I'll be good for that threshold. Um, I don't think that's all too interesting. We all understand what that means. We can debate about whether it's too high, too low. Pretty much uh, everyone has their own opinion on it and I think we can just leave that alone. However, the 4,000 hours watch is something that um, we don't really see. It's not really on the channel, it doesn't show views, it's not like likes or subscribers. It is something that we've never really had to deal with before. So, um, I've drawn out my minutes watched, which is something that you can find on YouTube. So, my minutes watch over the year of 2016 was when my first show of YouTube is 20,000. Then last year I had around 62,000. Which, to be honest, it sounds like a lot. And I can understand that a lot of people feel quite safe when it comes to the minutes watched, which is like, when they look at the hours watched, they will not be too worried. However, I do want to point out, I want to show you where I need to be in 2018 in order to make sure that I make that mark. So, let me see. Um, right here, and I need to go to 4,000 hours watched. Remember that this is minutes, so that will be... Right there. I'm sorry for the for the line, but if you can't see, let me show you that. That's right there. That's 240,000 minutes watched. That's where I need to be with my channel next year. Now, as I said before, this video is not me bitching about the new requirements, because to be honest, the 1,000 subscriber threshold was going to be quite hard for me to make but maybe possible in 30 days. However, the amount of hours watched, if you look at the 30 days and the amount of views that I would need to get, the amount of minutes watched, that will be around four times what I made in the entirety of 2017, which pretty much straight up is impossible. So by the 20th of February, I will probably lose my YouTube partnership and lose monetization. But to be honest, the monetization part is not that interesting. And whether the thresholds are right or not, and whether they should be higher or lower, I think that's pretty much down to personal opinion. We can debate about that, but I don't see anything changing in the near future. What I do think is more important is that we focus on the issue at hand, is the reason why we came to this situation, and the reason why YouTube is acting like this. And for that, I want to go back to the email. 
But the reason we come back to the email is because it shows perfectly what the problem is with YouTube. And I feel that this is the reason why many of the things have been happening as they are right now across the entire platform of YouTube and its creators. So as we see the email, we've just gone over the numbers, which I don't really care about. But what's interesting about this email is that um, this was the very first email that I got about the changing situation. It was the very first time that YouTube decided to contact me about that things were changing. And it was pretty much the email that just said, all right, you know, uh, we're going to end the partnership. However, it was the very first time I felt they actually spoke to me as a YouTube partner. I've never considered myself a YouTube partner. I barely even knew I was a YouTube partner. Um, and it seems like YouTube had the same impression. As you can see, Gmail offered the very nice ability to reply to this mail, but this very important email about you ending your partnership, losing your monetization, which is a big deal to YouTubers, is being sent from a no reply email address. There's no way to respond. It's just, all right, we're gonna end it, done. Uh, at the same time, uh, it also kind of goes to show how much you're being thought of as a partner when uh, down below this email, it says you have received this mandatory email service announcement to update you about the important change to your YouTube product or account. But this piece of text shows to me that even if they didn't want to send out this mail, even if they didn't want to talk to me, they just had to because it was a mandatory announcement. If they didn't want to talk to me, they probably didn't know where I was, they just had to send this out because it wasn't the system. It's a completely systematic mail, there's no human interaction or involvement in this, and it shows that they don't care about the person behind the account. Now this is not me bitching about my situation, this is about me noticing that this is happening to a lot of creators out there right now. This is a lot of people, 100, 1000, multiple thousands of people receiving this mail being treated by a system. So why is being treated by a machine a problem? Well, it all comes down to when YouTube started. When YouTube started out, we had YouTube and had this beautiful slogan called broadcast yourself. There. Now the nice thing about broadcast yourself is that the slogan is always down underneath the logo. It's always we put a company first and then we put the slogan be below that. However, the interesting thing is that YouTube, the company itself, is what they do. It's, it, 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 it's, it's what they do. It is their platform. It are their servers. It's their search function. It's their TV. It's all their programs that they have. However, it's not that what is year in, year out has called to creators. That is broadcast yourself. The slogan of broadcast yourself is years in every single time, it still does it to this day, is calling to creators that believe in this idea that you can go out to the internet and broadcast your own voice, you don't need the corporation for it, and you can put yourself out there. No matter what you do, no matter what your interests are, it's you. So that idea, the broadcast yourself, that is what, that's what called creators. That's how YouTube got its creators. It's, it's the why. Broadcast yourself, that is the why, it's the reason why YouTube was started, it's the ideas behind it, it are the values of YouTube, it are the beliefs that YouTube believes in, that we believe in as creators, and it's why we're attracted to this platform, because YouTube itself, the platform itself, we can all recreate that. Anyone can recreate that and make another YouTube, but what they don't have are the creators because they don't share that belief. It's what creates community. It's what creates community, the, the values, the beliefs, the why is what attracts the community. It's what brings us together as people. Now once we found that YouTube believe in the thing that we believed in, we all came together there and we achieved some marvelous things. YouTube became very big because it attracted all kinds of people from different walks of life, but they all believed in the same idea, the broadcast yourself. And this, 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 was, this was the connect between YouTube and the creators. This was the direct communication between YouTube and the creators. They both believed in the same thing. And no matter what happened, they would both fight for the idea of broadcasting yourself. It was what they believed in and no one could stop them. However, now we had two major things recently, but there are more occasions, but I do want to point out these two examples. So the first thing is the apocalypse. And then most importantly, the first one where they just took the creators and threw them under the bus for advertisers and making sure that they didn't lose face. I kind of like symbolize this by the, uh, by the demonetized logo. That is the thing that upset a lot of creators. But the same thing right now with the YouTube partner program. The YouTube partner program, the way it's being treated right now shows the exact same thing. It's that 
advertisers are between the YouTube and the creators. And the and instead of being treated like humans and being and having this direct link between YouTube and yourself, you're having the advertisers in between and they're more important to YouTube. The creators are second class citizens and we don't deserve to be talked to by a person. We are just being talked to by a bot that will only tell us when our partnership has ended. There is this disconnect between YouTube and its community. And it's not YouTube. It's not what that keeps YouTube alive, that is the essential life force of YouTube. It's a community. It is people. So once you forget your why, of course people will become angry. Of course people will become confused because what is going on? People don't know what's going on. That's why we get situations where people forget their values. They forget why they started out and they make videos just to get, just to get the what, just to get the views, get the subscribers, get the money, only in the short term, thinking about the short term. That's why we get situations like the start of the year where people are becoming props, people are becoming numbers. And we're just doing what works best in the short term, which I think is very inefficient. Now the reason that this is a problem is because we're all humans. And as humans, we're social beings. We need other people to be happy. You see so many creators, big and small, coming forward with problems like anxiety, depression, feeling just completely unfulfilled even though they're having a massive success and they're doing better than they've ever done before. Now it's important to realize that all of these channels that are being kicked out of the partner program and all of the ones that also stay in there, they're all people. They're all human beings that are sitting behind their computer or behind their camera making videos, making products, making channels that they believe in because they have a dream, they have a vision and they have an idea. It's important to realize that these human beings, this community, is what has made YouTube so strong. It's this community that when working together can achieve marvelous things. It's the body armor that protects YouTube against, against apocalypses. We can survive apocalypses easy if we all share the same belief. If we all come back and treat each other as human beings. If we state why we do what we do and we support each other. Because at the end of the day, if the platform does good, we do good. If the platform does bad, we do bad. So if changes need to happen to make the platform do better, we can take them. And we, sh and we should be willing to take them. Because if the platform goes down, it's going to be a problem. Not just for YouTube, but it's also going to be a problem for us. Now, I know we've kind of ended up with it being a rant. But if there's one thing I'd like you to take away from this is that it's very important to look out for the people to the left of you and to the right of you. Because even though they may appear as channels or sub counts or just a number or a mail list in the mailing system, they're all people. And if we want to shine above what's happening right now, if we want to prevent things like videos in a Japanese suicide forest, we need to make sure that we stop focusing on what we're doing, but we remind ourselves why we do what we do. Thank you.